every scientist in the world should have access to science, ideally freely or almost freely. By access to science, I mean access to publications, access to, access to stored data, access to uh, computer softwares, which are solving problems in mathematics and physics. All this has to be free. And in fact, this is very important for not only for the scientists, but for science itself. As you have said, <coughs> science from the beginning, from the 17th century, has been a global adventure. The, the, the founding fathers of modern science in Europe, uh, Copernicus, Kepler, Galileo, Newton, were e exchanging when they lived to, at the same time, and they were, they were basing their research and their ideas on what others had been done in Europe. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, the, the birth of astronomy observatory, of, uh, uh, astronomy uh, was uh, the first observation of uh, Galileo with his telescope, and the telescope was coming from Holland, from Amsterdam, and it has been brought to Venice by free trade, and this kind of exchange between technology and basic science have been very important from the beginning of science.